Here's a really nice uh, multivariable calculus limit problem. We have the function of x and y, which is x to the fourth times y to the fourth, all over x squared plus y to the fourth quantity cubed. And we want to take the limit as x and y go to zero, keeping in mind that we're going to travel along all possible paths in the xy plane as we get there. So there are a couple of techniques that we like to throw at problems like this to, to quickly evaluate them. The first is to say, you know, let x equals zero and then we'll do let x equals y, uh, let y equals zero later. So if we let x equals zero, uh, we have the limit zero, y goes to zero, zero. And then everywhere we see an x, we replace it with zero, so we get zero to the fourth, y to the fourth over zero squared plus y to the fourth, and all that is cubed. We'll note that the denominator is always non-zero as we approach zero, zero, and the numerator is always zero. So basically, we know the limit is zero along this path. That's great. Now let's see what happens when we let y equals zero. So we'll end up taking the limit uh, x, zero, goes to zero, zero. Everywhere we see a y, we replace it with a zero. So we'll get uh, x to the fourth, zero to the fourth, all of this over x squared plus zero to the fourth quantity cubed. And again, we have the same kind of situation. The denominator is always non-zero, and the numerator is always going to be zero, and so we know the limit is zero along that path. And at this point, we might be saying, hey, you know, we've showed it two different ways, two different limits, we're, we're fine, but we haven't done everything. This is a really useful trick. Since we're approaching the origin, what we'd like to do is test every single uh, straight line passing through the origin. In other words, we'll let y equal mx, where m is any real number, because that's the equation of all lines passing through the origin. There's no y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero, so it's just y equals mx. So let's go through and test that. Our limit will be x, and then mx, because everywhere we see y, we're replacing it with mx, goes to zero, zero, and then we just fill in the blanks. So we have x to the fourth, mx to the fourth. All of this is going to be over x squared plus, and then we're going to have mx to the fourth, because that's what our y is going to be. And all of this is going to be cubed. Right? So at this point, we need to do a little bit of algebra to simplify things. Not that big of a deal. So let's take the next algebraic step and simplifying. We're going to get m to the fourth, x to the eighth. All of this is going to be divided by x squared plus m to the fourth, x to the fourth. And all this is going to be cubed. So again, we can do a little bit of algebra to simplify things. And note that we can factor out um, x squared in the denominator, so we'll get m to the fourth, x to the eighth. Then we're going to factor out uh, an x squared to the third times 1 plus m to the fourth x squared, and this will all be to the third. All right? And again, a little bit of algebra. We see this is really x to the sixth. It cancels with the x to the eighth. And so we're going to be left with this limit, which is, let's see, m to the fourth x squared over 1 plus m to the fourth x squared, all this cubed, right? Because we canceled out that x to the sixth with x to the eighth. Okay, since really only the x's are going to zero, there's only x's in this expression. M's can be whatever we want, and because they're raised to an even power, they're always going to be positive. We're always going to have a non-negative quantity, or a non-zero quantity in the denominator, and the numerator is just going to be zero, because this x squared is, is going to zero. So we can tell that this limit is zero. In other words, along all possible straight lines leading to the origin, the limit gives us zero. And that includes 
x equals 0 and y equals 0, because m is uh, equal to 0 in, bo in both cases. Well, at this point you may say, oh, we're done. We're, we're finished with the problem. All it's, it, the limit is 0. But in fact, this is not true. Okay, let's have a closer look at the form of this problem. Let's, let's look at this thing algebraically and see uh, if we can figure out what the, the secret is to this problem. I'm going to notice that maybe I can take the denominator and have this x squared equal to y to the fourth. In other words, if I let, suppose I say, um, let x equal y squared, right? Then I would get y squared squared, that's y to the fourth. And then this would work out so that I would have all y's. But let's see what happens if I, if I let this happen, if I let x equal y squared. So I will take the limit of y squared y going to 0, 0. And then I will have y squared to the fourth times y to the fourth. All of that will be over y squared squared plus y to the fourth, all that cubed. Okay. Again, we can do a little bit of algebra to simplify this expression. And let's see what happens. y squared to the fourth, that's to the eighth, add that to four. So you're going to get y to the twelfth over then this is y to the fourth and y to the fourth. So that's 2y to the fourth, y to the fourth, all of this to the third power. Okay, This is equal to, again, we'll take that. This is equal to y to the twelfth over uh, three, 2 to the third is 8y to the twelfth. And so the y's to the 12 cancel, and the limit is equal to 1 eighth. So that means this limit, this original limit here, does not exist. Does not exist. Along all straight lines through the origin, the limit is 0. But along this line, x equals y squared, along that curve, the limit is 1 eighth. So this limit does not exist. Okay? Let's have a look at this in MVT just to verify our assumptions. I've already plotted it, and I've already um, projected it into the uh, xy plane. And if you recall from our previous videos, the brighter the color, the, the higher uh, the graph is, the larger the z value. And if you look at this curve, this looks like uh, x equals y squared. And so let's look at this thing in 3D, and we'll see that, indeed, all the other paths seem to lead toward the origin at, at 0. But if we travel along this parabola, we stay at what looks to be a little greater than 0.01. Right? And that's 1 eighth. Now, if you weren't able to, to see the algebra just looking at the problem, um, it might be helpful to plot the problem and say, hmm, you know, this curve, what does this look like? It looks like a, a parabola. So let me try x equals y squared and see what happens. Uh, that's where we're graphing these things and looking at the algebra. Eventually, with practice, it becomes uh, more intuitive and you get better at these things. I hope this video was helpful. And in the next video, I'll show you where the limits actually work out and the limits do exist.